Welcome to Conference Aston for our third CH2M Graduate Development Programme Conference. This is a great opportunity for graduates across the region to network with other graduates and also with senior members of the business. We have this graduate conference every year because it gives them a good insight into how the company operates. It gives them a sense of the culture of the organisation by spending some time with the more senior managers. And I think for us, we get out of the fact that you know, we feel like we've given them a good start. This is our sort of chance to orientate them in the programme, the company, what we're expecting of them in the coming years. Uh, and I think you know, there's a lot of value in that, which is why we do it. For the last few years we've put in place a graduate development program and that is to ensure that we train the skills and indeed the competencies into our graduates when they join our organisation. So we know they have the technical ability and the intellect but it's important that they have the ability to translate that knowledge and skill into working with our clients and the graduate development program starts to instill those behaviours and competencies to allow them to do that successfully. I think the Graduate Development Programme means progression and development. And I feel like the Graduate Programme can help you become the person that you want to be. So we've given them some pre-work before they came to us today. To write an elevator speech. Now that's a speech which anybody will give a short, concise, impressive statement, a description about themselves to somebody else the first time they meet them. So I'd really encourage them to network, network, network. First of all, I did a presentation on the sort of work that we do in the planning and advisory area. Sort of major projects we've been working on and what I've been working on through my career. And the key thing for that for the graduates are the sorts of opportunities they will have in the future when, when these projects move from planning into actually design and delivery. I was listening to Richard Sanderson, so he was talking about the future opportunities, so I think it's really, really good. In the next few years I'll be able to say, oh, that's a project I would like to work on, and I've seen some really great projects overseas that I would like to get involved in, and I think this is very inspiring. I've really enjoyed uh, listening to the speakers about their personal experience. Which shows that you can start off at one area and end up doing something completely different. So I guess a couple of things that uh, I've said to a number of people in the past is, is first of all be flexible, uh, take on things when they come left field and sideways and be open to new ideas. What I will take away from the presentations of the speakers today is take a risk and try new things throughout the company, try um, different sectors and try and meet more people really. The speakers, the things that I've got from them is that, you know, everyone has a trial in every kind of period and everyone progresses. No one's actually Einstein from stage one. You can make mistakes, but also like remember your values and what you're doing and your drive. It's really challenging for me and exciting. I just joined CH2M about a month ago and I think this is pretty amazing. And what I like most so far is that in every aspect they uh, encourage us to get out of our uh, comfort zone and take the risk. And I left my country to be part of something bigger. And this is the feeling that I have now, that I am part of something bigger. The activity that we did today was called More Time Please. So the objective of this activity was to give them some kind of time management skills to be able to manage themselves on a project, in a team and obviously themselves. So they were given 40 minutes to complete a set of activities. The key learning point was really just to highlight how quick that time can go. And um, it was also important, I think, for them to make sure that they read the document fully up front. It was great fun, yeah. Because it seems like games, but in the end, there is something more deep behind these activities, and it was useful to develop 
team business skills? I've really been enjoying the games and activities and I feel that they've been challenging different areas of knowledge. So I feel I've learned keeping on top of health and safety, making sure that you, you plan your time accordingly and you put in the right people into the right areas. In first place is Rising Stars. We had a good time. We had a good time. We had a great time. In the phrase, I've described the conference as meeting new friends. It was useful for sharing knowledge and experience. The networking. Yeah, so I got a better understanding of the company. Don't be shy and take risks. I guess the key takeaways for me are that they are in charge of their future. They have a choice of which way they want to go within the organisation. I want them to understand that their attitude can dictate that and that they are in control of it and that these additional skills and competences that they have will enable them to differentiate themselves.